in this video, we're going to go to a small town just north of Central Florida called Howie in the Hills. There is a bakery that's called Yalaha Bakery. It's a German bakery. They got some incredible food and also some incredible sweets. So after we play our introduction video, we'll show you what they have. So stay tuned. There's a German song there. All right, so here we go. We are here at this German bakery. It was totally amazing. So we got a pretzel here that it's been missing a piece. Don't know how that happened. But I had a bite. But it looks different, the, the texture on the top than a regular pretzel. Okay, if you've, uh, if you've and, just uh, welcome. If you've been here with us, uh, welcome mm, back. We okay. Party Automatically, we yummy delicious. Every weekend, every weekend, uh, is music this is really good and texture and bread. So we got several desserts and also we can get some ideas and some a sandwich a reuben sandwich i was going to go for the uh, schnitzel which i never had before but kim's having something similar so we're just going to split it so and the uh, reuben sandwich it's on a pretzel but what's nice about that pretzel is it's light it's not dense but you mm -hmm. can taste the pretzel flavor mm -hmm. Here, and then, bread. then we have this bread. That's this is a bread. pretzel bread with cheese. Look at that. And they cut it for us. That's where we, we crust it. This is pumpernickel. Man, it feels nice and soft. 
and it smells interesting. Can't wait to dig into this and nice with butter. Oh my goodness. It's going to be incredible. All right. So there's the Reuben with sauerkraut. It looks like some potato on a German potato salad. Right? German potato salad on a uh, pretzel bun. Looking good. And then this is a pork schnitzel. And schnitzel is the, the pasta they do in red cabbage. Red cabbage. Oh, that's a schnitzel. Okay, gotcha. This is the pork. So there you go. Flavorful. That's pretty tasty. Did you want to try the red cabbage? Sure, I'm going to try it. And it's warm. Oh. That's different. Wow. It's a warm red I'm cabbage. I'm shocked. It doesn't taste like cabbage. It tastes like, like cranberries. Oh my goodness. Love that. Yeah. And um, the potato here. Mm. Okay, that's like a sweet red cabbage. So I went ahead and tried the red cabbage. Totally amazing. Isn't it? It's like a sweet, it's warm, first of all. It's warm. But it's like a sweet, sour uh, red cabbage. It and reminds me almost like cranberry. It did like have a, a little bit of a sauce. hint of a cranberry taste, yeah. Love it, love it, love it. And then, of course, the, the pork cutlet with that mushroom gravy, and then they have this fatso, I think they call it, which is like a German pasta, and they, they put a little bit yep. of mushroom and stuff in it. It's really good, yeah. so. And this potato salad, it is cold, and what did you say it was called? German? German potato salad. I normally don't care for German potato salad, so let me give this a whirl. sour? Because usually German potato salad is very sour. How do you like the German music in the background? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's good, right? Yeah, it's not too sour at all. And this cabbage just tastes excellent. So I'm going to try this Reuben here. And the Reuben's on a pretzel roll with cheese, right? With cheese. Mm -hmm. I like it. The only thing I didn't care for a whole lot, I think if you call that the schnitzel, it's like a pasta. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's not your favorite. It's not my favorite. Okay. Everything else, I like. Just being transparent. <laughs> That Reuben is very good, and I have to say, with that pretzel bread and cheese, very good. We got a loaf of that to take home, but that pretzel bread is very nice. But this pork cutlet is very tender. Anybody that knows anybody who's German, the German people love their pork. So what we have here is the apple strudel. You guys can see that which is pretty dense. It was hefty. And, and I know my wife can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and this is... Kim, a, tell us what this is. I'm gonna. This is a pistachio tort. So it's very light, but All it's right. made with pistachios. And I think it's raspberry, but I'm not 100%. Mm -mm -mm. So you guys know that I'm starting to watch my sugar intake. Of course. So watch this. Mm. Oh, that tort is amazing. It's very light. Like the raspberry. Mm-hmm. Very, very... Oh, it's a hint. It's a hint, yes. Yes. Even the cream is not heavy in it. It's very light. And, and this here, what's what's that? It's almost like a, um, like a toffee, I don't yes. know. Toffee Something. crunch. But very I, thin. I think it's got like um, minced nuts in it. But it's very, again, the... It's light. I want to say the cream is probably a, like a Bavarian cream, so it's not super sweet, but it's just very light. Because it's pistachio. Mm -hmm. There's another one that Sandra would love. Mm -hmm. She would go nuts for this one. That's right. So Sandra, here's for you. Again, watching my sugar intake. Mm. See? Mm. Wow. I like that. That kind of surprised me from what it looked like in the case. I thought it was going to be much richer, but yeah, very, very nice. We we'll definitely would get that again. That's yummy. To the apple strudel. 
which you can see the sugar up here, apples, as you can see right there. And it has the golden raisins in it, but the layers, the, the crust layers here, you can see on the side, they're very light and flaky. Go like this, babe. See, and you go like that. Look at how light and fluffy they are. So, it is kind of hard to cut because it's so dense. Look at that. It's been butchered. <laughs> So, but it is we'll very see. good. I, I couldn't wait. I had oh, my bite. Yes. But it's nice and light. Again, it's mm. not super yeah. sweet, but you taste the apple. The apples. You, I think the apple and the raisin really comes out and the hints of cinnamon. You know how I like apples. I do. I like it, but if I had a choice, I'd go with that the pistachio almond, tart. Or the, that's what it is. It had almonds in it, I think, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I got to go back in that and find good. that out. We'll put it down we'll in put the, the description name. Yeah. We'll put the of name what that below. tort's name is. So this is the peach strudel. Just to give you an idea, you see little It's like a cheesecake of type of deal, right? It does. But again, you know, they, the way they make these pastries, they're very light. So I don't think it's going to be heavy. And they had all the uh, German beers up there, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. It's nice. Again, it's light, not super sweet. You do taste the peach and a little bit of the crust, but overall the cheese base, it's not super creamy and wet. It's a little bit more dry, but it, um, it has a nice flavor. Again, it's not sweet. I like the little crumbles on top too. Yes, yeah, it's almost like a crumb cake, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I like that too. I know our German friends will love this. Mm-hmm. This is definitely yummy delicious. I would order this one again as well. Okay, so we definitely want to give a little shout out to Mark and Julie White because they're the ones that suggested we check this place out. And thank you. Thank you, yes. Mucho much because this was super, super good. So if any of you have places that you've been that you really like and want us to check it out, maybe be able to do a video, please list it down below in your comments because we will check it out and do a video. Well, within reasons. Well, of course. Unless of course. it's in Hawaii or Mexico or right. Europe, you know, we'll, we'll have to think about that one. Yeah. But even so, it wouldn't hurt. We'll put it on our list. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Germans are known for it is a Linzer tort. So here we go. We took, we just got one and we're going to have a little bite to see if we like it, but I'm sure we will. Everything else has been amazing. It's like a cookie. Mm hmm It is. Again, not too sweet. You can taste the fruit. Not too tart. Mm hmm The cookie is crisp, but yet it's, uh, at the same time, it's not dense and heavy. Yeah. Very light, which is, you know, something I'm finding seems like to be the theme in all the pastries that we've tried. So we definitely give this place a uh, thumbs up and a yummy delicious category. Yes. It's right up there. Yes and yes. And definitely it's, come back. And it's cute. In fact, next door there's a craft distillery place. We're not too sure exactly what uh, all goes on there, but uh, that might be something to visit while you're here. And if you do guys come here to this place, let us know. What pastries did you guys eat? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you had here, came here for lunch. And let us know what kind of sandwich or food that you guys ate. And let us know in the comments below, because remember, you guys can help us by giving comments and we'll respond to your comments. And this will help the uh, Google algorithm too, to know that, hey, uh, people are liking this video. Right. And don't forget about giving a thumbs up, because that's another way to help us out in order to support our channel. So like that, we can visit other areas and, and then let you guys know about them yeah. so you guys can go visit them. Because we love to explore, as you all know. <laughs> and, yep. uh, and of course, like I said before, I like to sacrifice this body of mine for you guys. <laughs> so, just saying. All right, I think that's a wrap, babe. All righty. All right. See you in the next video. Ta-ta.